Taking a look now at some news from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Efforts to recover the car resting on the ocean floor a few hundred feet from the Virginia Beach boardwalk. Continuous police-led groups gear up for another attempt. According to WTKR-TV, on Monday evening, January, January the 29th, Virginia Beach police made a series of posts to X, formerly known as Twitter, walking followers through each step of the process as many wonder why a body or bodies still have not been recovered. Sergeant Brian Ricardo of the Virginia Beach Special Operations Bureau said because it's a crime scene, they want to leave it encapsulated as best they can. Sergeant Ricardo said if they open up to the portal, the portal to the ocean that they're going to lose evidence. Now, Ricardo said that the car is on its roof and it's leaning towards the ocean. The police department shared two clips of video footage taken by a remotely operated vehicle where, through murky water, images of what appeared to be the vehicle can be seen. In one clip, a tire briefly appears, and in the other, there's a flash of red. Videos of the incident and the aftermath at the pier spread widely since Saturday, January the 27th, generating more than 10 million views on social media sites such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. In the comments, many expressed dismay at the lack of update on the car's occupants. Sergeant Ricardo said that the car is unstable, and the fear of them is that it will, not that it will drift, but that one of the divers may get entangled in the vehicle. A post by the police department said the goal of their mission remains to safely retrieve the vehicle, reunite any and all occupants with their loved ones, and maintain the integrity of all of the evidence. A sonar image also shed light on the car's position. On Sunday, police worked with a team from Crofton Industries, which is a group that they said bring extensive experience and access to appropriate equipment to salvage objects from the ocean floor. But tumultuous surface conditions prevented that effort from happening. Chains and mooring lines were broken, and Crofton was forced in order to return for repairs. Now, we are keeping an eye on this story, and we'll bring you the latest updates, not only on Facebook, but as on our TV's uh, coverage as well. You can follow us at facebook.com slash startnewstv.